Hi, this is Dr. John Bergson from the St. Paul Center, and we are. Let me back that. Hi there, this is Dr. John Bergsma from the. Eh. <laughs>uh, get the Lighthouse uh, Audio Bible from Ignatius Press and the Augustine Institute. It's a great edition of the New Testament. And then you might have a little more trouble finding audio of the Old Testament, but it is out there. You can find it. Great way to work your way through the Bible when you have limited time. Advanyat Ranium Tuam asks, Biblical basis for spiritual communion? which I assume means what is the biblical basis for spiritual communion? Well, first of all, let's make clear that uh, spiritual communion is not a substitute for real communion. Spiritual communion is an act of closeness to Jesus in the Eucharist uh, that we make when we are prevented from, by whatever reason from actually uh, receiving, which is always preferable. But for precedent for this, we know that our Lord is able to deliver grace to act in power uh, even when he is not physically present. And we see that in John 4, for example, when that official comes and asks Jesus to heal his son, and Jesus simply says the word and the son is healed even though the son was many miles away and Jesus never was physically present. So we know that our Lord can give us his power even when he's not physically present, even when he's not sacramentally present. And so in times when we can't actually receive the Eucharist, we can make a spiritual communion and ask the Lord to give us grace, so to speak, at a distance. Tyrant King 21 asks, are we as Catholics not following Romans 15 where it says to worship without boundaries? Okay, what Romans 15 actually says is to welcome the Gentiles to worship, which is people from different ethnic backgrounds. And we definitely do that as the Catholic Church. I do not know a more ethnically diverse religious body than the worldwide Roman Catholic Church. In fact, we're very welcoming. Anybody can come to Mass. We don't turn anybody away. So we definitely follow that injunction. Now, what we don't do, though, is invite everybody to partake of the Eucharist. And that's because of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. In that chapter, uh, St. Paul warns that unworthy reception of the Eucharist can lead to sickness and even death um, and we don't want people you know experiencing those bad things uh, by unworthily receiving so we do put some restrictions on who comes forward to the eucharist we ask that people be baptized in a state of grace uh, before they receive the eucharist and that's for their benefit and their well, spiritual and physical safety based on what St. Paul says. Easy 115 asks, what's recommended to read and meditate over when it comes to asking God what he wants us to do? All right, I'm not sure if I totally understand the question, but it sounds like Easy 115 uh, might be undergoing a process of discernment or trying to struggle with a decision in their life. Um, I would recommend to you looking at those passages of our Lord in Gethsemane, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Take any one of those Gospels and look at the Garden of Gethsemane and look at the example of our Lord praying and asking, not my will, but yours be done. Take that to your prayer, read those passages over and over, talk to Jesus about it, ask the Lord to show you uh, what he wants you to do, and work on having that attitude of not my will but yours be done and i think you can be confident that uh, god will lead you through the holy spirit when you pray in that way so thank you very much for those questions keep sending them to us we love to answer your instagram questions at the saint paul center for biblical theology because that's what we're here for and there's more resources down below. We have some, some ideas for further reading and for further research down in the description box. So check that out. And also please subscribe to these videos. We really appreciate uh, when you do that. 
And if you have other questions that we have not answered, excuse me, uh, ask them in the comment section and we'll try to get to them in a future video broadcast. This has been Dr. John Bergsman from the St. Paul Center for Biblical Theology.